Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to look at the book of Acts, Acts of the Holy Spirit or Actions of the Holy Spirit. Kingdom impact, mega shift. I'm going to be looking at open doors, open hearts, open heaven. God is about to make a mega shift and a kingdom impact in your life. One day, the mega ship, once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God, who are telling you the way to be saved. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoyed, agitated, that he turned around and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. When her owners saw, her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone. They seized Paul and Silas, dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrates and said, These men are Jews and are throwing our city in an uproar. In an uproar by advocating customs unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined the attack against Paul and Silas, and the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had beaten, been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet with the stones. Look at this, verse 25. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were, prison were shaken. At once, all doors, all the prison doors flew open, and everyone's chain, everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself. We are all here. The jailer called for lights, rushed in, and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you and your household will be saved. Hallelujah. Python spirit. This Python spirit came upon this young girl, believed to be the mythology of uh, the Greeks uh, that the spirit, a, a python spirit would have possessed her, causing her to be able to predict the future. What the spirit seeks to do is to control you, manipulate you, rob you of your purpose and your destiny. This young damsel, a young teenage girl is said to be possessed by the spirit. She is abused by the spirit. Uh, if you have the python spirit, she has the capacity to predict the future, but it's not the future that God wants for your life. God has a wonderful plan for your life. Once you're connected to the things of God uh, and to the people of Almighty God, your future, the God's future, the God's plan for you will be revealed in your life. So this girl became a slave. She's a slave to these owners. They were using her to make money. They were using her to make a great gain. But the Bible says that Paul became troubled in his spirit. She, were, she was mocking them and Paul grieved in his spirit. He's not going to abuse the girl, but what he's going to do is set the girl free. He's going to liberate her in the name of Jesus. He looked at the spirit. The Bible says Paul commanded the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ to get out of her and immediately the spirit left her. And when uh, there's no great detail of the conversion, if she was baptized or anything like that, but the Bible says her masters, the ones who owned her, saw that there was a difference in this girl. I want you to know that when the spirit of uh, uh, the evil spirits uh, would come upon people, there's a difference. Uh, but when the spirit of God, uh, when you are liberated and set free, uh, people can uh, see that difference in your life. Uh, the Bible says the masters notice that she's not the same, uh, uh, that she is now different. She had transformed into someone beautiful. She's been delivered. Oh, what a powerful thing that Paul says uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, get out of this girl and she is delivered. She is set free. Uh, so brothers and sisters, we want to break that python spirit that whole that spirit that seeks to hold you, hold your mind in hostage and in captivity seeks to control you, dominate you and frustrate you. Uh, what, what it seeks to do is suffocate you slowly. It's getting your life in a dark
downward spiral. Your life is not going up, it's just coming down. And that's what the enemy wants to do in your life. Would use anyone and anything. And the Bible says they form their mob quickly. What the Spirit seeks to do is to form alliances to bring down the servants of Almighty God. But we rebuke those spirits right now in the name of Jesus. If you're in leadership, you have to guard yourself against those spirits in the name of Jesus. So just as a spite and snake, they call it a downward trajectory. You're falling, you're about to hit the ground if you're possessed by that spirit. Seemingly, you think you are above, but the spirit wants to bring you down. Your 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 life is topsy-turvy. Your life is in a cycle. It's in a cycle. Just as the snake has wrapped around this tree, that snake, that's what that spirit seeks to do, wrap you up and to bring you down but i command you to be free in the name of jesus christ right now be free in the name of jesus christ uh, that when they had thrown paul and silas into the prison they placed them in the dungeon in other words maximum security there were numerous guards and, and they, they trust them they put them in darkness uh, but brothers and sisters you can show a believer in darkness uh, but the mistake they did they, they handcuffed their hands and their feet fastened them on the stocks uh, and nothing wrong with no moving sometimes we feel like we're in captivity with this lockdown and this pandemic and this crisis uh, but i want you to know that what the enemy forgot to do was to take duct tape and suffocate and, and shut their mouth uh, and to bind their lips together uh, uh, the enemy made a mistake because Dr. Tertullian says the hands and the feet feels nothing when the heart is in heaven. Uh, they could have meditated, they could have brought the house down. The Bible says that they continue to pray and to praise God and all the prisoners were listening to them. Always remember somebody's listening to what you're saying, listening to your life, listening to what you are preaching, listening to what is coming out of you. Remember even your silence, your saying something remember this uh, even in your silence and uh, you are saying something sometimes there's a silent cries uh, and the silence uh, sometimes a snake moves silently uh, but I want you to know that God wants to liberate you and set you free the Bible says about midnight Paul and Silas began to pray and praise God uh, and suddenly suddenly there was a shift uh, suddenly the foundations began to be shaken in the Greek it means a size Moses a mega size Moses, uh, God sent a mighty earthquake. Uh, some believe that God stood up. And whenever you praise and worship God and begin to pray unto God, that God gets up and God begins to do a little dance in heaven. And when God begins to dance, there comes a shaking. God says, I'm about to shake everything that it can be shaken. And the very thing that was holding his, his sons up in captivity, he shook the prisoner. He shook the whole prison. I want you to know that God will shake down a whole thing just to get you out. I don't care where you are right now. God will shake it down because there's an open door, an open heaven, a mega shift is about to hit your life. And the Bible says, were listening God is about to open the doors a mega shift others were listening it is good to be close to those who love God because the Bible says that just because they were listening that their chains fell off I don't know what chains uh, have been holding you for so long but it's about to be broken in the name of Jesus there's an open door a mega shift about to take place in your life if you want to receive the mega shift change your thinking change your life when in trouble make the shift to pray praise and worship remain open-minded for new information and ways of living change the routine the call of god has conflict suddenly it will all change for the greater good open your heart for the kingdom of god to influence you father in the name of jesus open doors right now let there be a mega shift to those who are hearing me right now a mega shift is about to hit your life open doors open hearts and open heaven over your life i bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ receive this word in jesus mighty name and your life will be changed if you never pray to receive jesus christ say this prayer with me father forgive me of my sins come into my heart be the king of my life be the lord and savior of my life in jesus mighty name god bless you brothers and sisters remember this is the mega shift. Open door season. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you.